But first tonight, political drama in another Northeast Ohio city tonight. It's, it's a black eye on that community. A grand jury has indicted a mayor on ethics and corruption charges. Dover Mayor Richard Hammerkhausen faces 15 charges tied to pocketing money meant for the city. News 5's Clay Labar details how investigators say this all tied to the mayor officiating over weddings. For more than 30 years, his name became synonymous with Dover, Ohio. It is indeed an honor and a distinct pleasure to welcome you all to the city of Dover. Now, Mayor Richard Homrighausen finds himself facing 15 charges after a Tuscaroras County grand jury indicted the mayor for pocketing money and violating the state's nepotism law. State auditors say the mayor performed more than 200 weddings between 2014 and 2021, which added up to nearly $10,000 that they say should have been turned over to the city of Dover and instead went unreported. Meaning Homrighausen didn't claim the fees on any tax forms or mention them on any ethics financial disclosure forms. Investigators did say a separate audit of the city's finances uncovered that Dover did not have an ordinance in place outlining how to deposit money from wedding fees. Dover has a lot of great people. It's a, it's a wonderful town, wonderful community, and it's an, it's an embarrassment for him. Dover Council President Shane Gano says for more than a year, Council has tried to remove Homrighausen. We, we felt like things were being missed, deadlines were being missed. To me, it's a matter of trust. Uh, it's a matter of, you know, you're elected by the citizens to serve them, uh, and you have an obligation to do what's right with that money. Um, and it, to me, I feel like the mayor's breached that tr the trust of the community. The investigation also alleges the mayor interviewed and hired his son for a city job, which violated Ohio nepotism laws. We made several attempts to speak with the mayor, including meeting him at his office at City Hall. He declined to comment for this story. We're going to get through this, we're going to heal, and we're going to move on and move forward. In Dover, Clay Lepard, News 5.